If you hover your mouse over one of the vertical or horizontal boundaries between the tabs and press and hold your left mouse button, you can see that there are five paints by default, indicated by the thick white lines. We can resize these paints by left clicking on one of these boundaries and while holding the left mouse button, move the mouse up, down or left and right. You can also temporarily expand any of the existing tabs by hovering over a tab and pressing the spacebar key on your keyboard. Press spacebar again to return this tab to its previous state. All of Katana's tabs support this temporary expansion, giving you more room to work with on demand. You can close any of the tabs already docked to these panes by clicking the X button. Or if there are multiple tabs docked in the same pane, we are able to close them all by right-clicking on any tab and choosing Close All Tabs. Doing this will also delete the entire pane. You can always go to the tab menu to recover any of the closed tabs. Doing so will open this tab in a floating pane, which you can then dock to any of the existing panes. To dock a tab, left click and drag this to an existing pane. If you drop this tab in the middle of an existing pane, it will add it as an additional tab to the current pane. You can also permanently dock any tab by right-clicking on a tab and choosing Move Tab To, and then selecting any of the docking options. Choosing Right Dock, for example, will attach the tab to the right side of the UI. But keep in mind that if you use this method to dock a tab, you will no longer be able to temporarily expand this tab. But it can come in handy when you temporarily expand any other tabs. Permanently docking a Gaffer 3 tab, for example, will give you access to its interface even if you enter the expanded state of any tab. Katana lets you split existing panes either horizontally or vertically. You can do this by dragging your tab to the left or right of an existing pane until you see a white border at the center, and then dropping it to the left or right depending on where you want to split. Feel free to play around with this as you can always recover the default layout from the layouts menu in the menu bar and choosing the lighting layout. It is important to set up your user interface in a way that lets you see and edit data in an efficient way. Since viewing and editing attributes are an essential part of the Katana workflow, I like to detach the Attributes tab and dock it right below the Parameters tab. This way, I can always see the changes made to a scene graph location without having to constantly switch between tabs. Once you're happy with your layout, go to the Layouts menu in the menu bar and choose Save Current Layout. You can also detach any of the existing tabs into a floating pane and save this floating pane into your layout. This can be very useful when working with dual monitors as you will be able to make better use of the extra screen space available to you. I personally like to detach the node graph and the parameters tab, dock them together in a floating pane, and then save this as a dual monitor layout. This gives me a lot more room to work within the node graph. Be sure to enable the Save Floating Paints checkbox when saving the layout. In the next lesson, we will build the basic setup needed to render our asset.